Hello, children of YouTube, Facebook, wherever the fuck you're watching this. Um, we're going to Collegiate Drone Racing Championships. We've qualified UMD with, uh, yeah, we've qualified with UMD. Um, we've got our quads. We made it. Um, so now we actually have to get there. So we've currently got the cat in the back. Um, so if the officer pulls us over, police officer pulls us over, we can say that the car is not in fact catless. Um, and then it will be another 13, 14 hours until we get down there probably with stops and everything um, by the time we actually get there. So uh, yeah, here we are. We're actually picking up uh, Pedro or uh, Pino 151 Caceres. Um, he won last year. So, you know, basically if I spend more time with him, I'll, I'll definitely obtain all of his skill, right? That's, a, that's exactly how this works. Um, we are also a good month and a half behind in homework, but that's okay. We don't worry about that. Anyway, um, I'll do a couple more updates along the road. Maybe I won't, maybe we'll see. Uh, maybe you might put the Mavic up, maybe not. I don't friggin' know, but we'll find out. All right, peace people. You know that I'm a keep it cold With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge screening out What's up gang? We made it to the Collegiate Fair Racing Championships A uh, select few are here right now uh, They're over there talking about battery charging I'm not too worried, we got all these generators running I'm not sure how many? Where are the generators? There, okay. Yeah, we got all them running. I'm not too concerned. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get some software stuff done, some tuning. Uh, hopefully we'll come away from today with a few really nice working quads. Alright, peace. wondering how top pilots do it. This is how. Hello YouTube, I'm recording this after the fact. Um, hi, Lahaj, over there. Um, yeah. Anyway, so qualifications and practice went about as well as you might expect. Um, there were a couple of mid-airs, there were a couple um, of gate crashes, but it's okay. Um, overall, wow, well, there I am. Um, overall, I think it went reasonably well. Um, I was able to come back on the second day, fly my last pack of the entire event, um, at least for qualifications, and set a new personal best. So that was super, super cool. Um, and that did actually put me in a reasonable spot for brackets. So you'll see that shortly. You'll see the vlog portion. You'll see what I did in order to record. And it's DVR. Cool. Okay, update. I keep getting mid-aired. Um, well, okay, I screwed up the first time, but last heat I got mid-aired, went down. Uh, one of the Air Force kids, sorry. I, never heard feelings. Um, I will say that the HQ R38 clear absolutely cut through his R38 like normal prop. So that was a fun bit of information to know that uh, the R38 clear is just that much stiffer, I guess, or more durable. I can show you a picture of the chewed up prop, maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll see if I can find it again. 
But yeah, we're up for one more before the night closes, and then we'll probably get a little more kind of sleep and practice when we get back home. Uh, this is a really nice course. It's pretty well designed, I think. Um, Hyper did a, a good job with it. Um, it's very flowy. The adjustments made on race day, they were annoying, but at least they were kind of coherent with the rest of the track, um, I think. So we should get a good, a good bit of progress in. I am currently sitting somewhere in the top 20. I don't remember where. I think I'm like 18. Um, but I also haven't flown a full three in a while, uh, just because the last two packs were, uh, were bad. But we have one more tonight, and then we have four more tomorrow, and then we'll see where we land for elimination brackets. But until then, show you some DVR and peace. Yourself? He's saying hello. Okay, so qualifications was an interesting time. Um, I had a good run. Um, I got my personal best on the last of my five packs um, using a, a tattoo battery that I, I'm sorry Eva, I killed, um, I, as I'm sure you've already figured out by now. Um, but yeah, I did okay during qualifications, put me in like 21st or 22nd, I think, going into brackets. And then um, I was able to make a reasonable run through brackets. Um, you'll see that I had a, a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good set of hot laps there um, coming up next, um, where I actually managed to pull off second twice in a row. Then I went down to a midair um, in my semifinals run, so I went down to lowers, and then I won my lowers mat, my lowers bracket in second again, where I went back up to winners grands. Um, and in there, you'll see what happens next. I'm not going to spoil it, but that was the end of my run uh, in winners grands. So. I don't I didn't get to move up but you'll see why. So, yeah, cool.
I had a reasonable run through brackets and I made it pretty far in the event itself. I still uh, still went out to midair in the end, which I guess is fitting for me. Uh, I usually, usually do. Um, but yeah, it was a really good event. Thank you, Jordan Kruger. Thank you, everybody at the CDRC team for making it possible. Um, I really, really appreciated the chance to come out and fly. Um, definitely convinced me to get off my uh, my duty butt for a little bit and actually do something. Um, so I really appreciate that. And uh, a couple of shout outs to my friends, Chingwen and Alex. Thank you both for being amazing teammates. I'm really, really proud of both of you. Um, even both compared to, you know, last year, we made a huge, huge uh, improvement in our team and that's really cool. Um, Pedro or Pino, um, thanks for putting up with me for like the 13 hours of driving. Um, that was pretty cool. I know you slept for most of it, that's chill. Um, I think Hudson, Sean, um, anybody else who spotted me during qualifications and eliminations, um, I really appreciate it. Thank you for always being in my ear. Thank you for believing in me. Um, it was really, really cool getting to race with all of you. Um, I know that I will see you all very soon. So, you know, no goodbyes yet, but uh, definitely a really, really cool event. Um, lastly, thank you to my amazing girlfriend, Zoe. You did not have to come with me all the way to Atlanta, Georgia for an entire weekend um, and then put up with my racing stuff for the entire weekend as well. So I really appreciate you doing that. Um, hopefully Mayhem is a little bit more exciting for you. Um, but yeah, I, I still really, really, really super appreciate you coming out and making CDRC is just a little bit easier for me. Anyway, um, I'll cut to my little end screen now, but thanks for a great event and can't wait to do it again next week. Jimmy out.